Welcome back to CETV News Center. I'm Joy LeVere with your entertainment report. It's no surprise that Homecoming Week is full of many different events, and Homecoming 2012 is no different. One of the most unique events on the schedule is the annual drag show that took place this week in the Elmo Natale Performance Center. CETV reporter Adonna Perry was at the show and has more. Every semester, the Rainbow Alliance hosts the drag show for Cal U students. I started performing in December of 2004 professionally. Uh, we say professionally because I perform at different bars and things like that. My first show, however, ever on stage in makeup was in November of 2004 and that was here at Cal U. We would do the semester, every, or we would do show every semester and we used to perform back in the gold rush. It was really difficult and really hot and sweaty and gross. But uh, yeah, November of 2004. There are many reasons why students should attend a drag show to see what it is all about. I think that it's a very important thing for the students of the university to come and attend because a lot of people don't have exposure to the LGBT community. They don't have exposure to what we do and things like this. And drag isn't everybody. Not all gay men and gay women do drag. But this is just, it's a theater production. So just if you would have a musical on campus or if you would have, I know the Vagina Monologues every February, they perform that on Valentine's Day. It's just a, it's a theater production that they can see a different form of the theater. If you like this semester show or missed it, you can catch it next semester or contact the Rainbow Alliance for more information. For CU TV News Center, I am Adonna Perry. Thanks, Adonna. Magician Nate Staniforth performed his show right at our Cal U Convocation Center on Tuesday night. The crowd stood amazed as he seemed to do the impossible right before our eyes. I got to see what sets Nate apart from the others. I used to be the sort of magician that wore a tuxedo and made motorcycles disappear and had assistants, you know, float and disappear and reappear and I danced to 80s power ballads and it was just, I had this revelation at a, I was 18 years old and I went to a concert and saw this band play a show and they didn't have special effects, they didn't have, you know, flashy lights or smoke machines or all the stuff that I was using. And it was one of the most intense, incredible experiences of my life. You know, it was just four artists, you know, creating their craft um, in front of an audience and they just blew the roof off the building. And it was just, you know, I had to really think about after that, you know, if you can do that as a performer, why would you do anything else, you know? Like if you, if you know that that exists and that's possible, why, why in the world would you aim to be, you know, Joe Entertainer with a tuxedo. Nate was inspired by the works of Harry Houdini as a child, and he told us that his love of magic has never died. I have a notebook that goes back to age 11 of impossible things that I want to make happen on stage someday. Some of them are in the show now, some of them are about halfway done, and some of them I have no idea how, how I'm going to do them. Um, but that's the process. You sort of dream up this, you know, you, you put yourself in the audience. Like what, as a spectator, would would make me feel as if I had seen something extraordinary. Fans of the show are encouraged to follow Nate Staniforth on his Twitter for upcoming news. Looking at the Cal calendar, Tuesday, October 9th might be the busiest night on your schedule. Sabug is selling tickets to see Mary Poppins live at the Benedum Center in Pittsburgh. Tickets are only $10 for students and $15 for all non-students. Students can inquire about tickets and bus transportation at the information desk in Natalie. For all students who are not going to see Mary Poppins, don't miss the debate watch sponsored by the American Democracy Project starting at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. The event is free and will be held in Everly 110. Next Thursday will be the start of Cal U's annual and evening of one acts presenting the directing work of our own student directors. The first showing will start on Thursday at 8 p.m. Adult tickets are $12. Students are admitted for free after a $5 deposit. In the Vulcan Theater this week is Savages, starring Aaron Johnson and Blake Lively. The movie follows two Laguna Beach friends as they try to rescue their girlfriend from a Mexican drug cartel. Will they pay her ransom or will they get revenge? You can see Savages playing in the Vulcan Theater starting this Friday at 1, 4, 8, and 11 on select days. All right, guys, so this week on Tuesday, 
our producer, Glory, and, and I went to this magic show, and it was amazing. I was just wondering, have you guys ever been to a magic show to see what it's like? I personally haven't, but I really want to go to one. And magicians are cool, but I don't want to learn all their secrets, but I know they can't tell. They just can't tell, Joy. It was so difficult. We kept, we kept wondering how he did all these unbelievable things. I mean, He was really impressive. It? Yeah, I was sitting next to Joy and Gloria, and I was just like, we were blown away the entire time. It was unbelievable. Absolutely. If, if anyone here wants to go see a magic show, Nate Stanforth is awesome. All right. Well, thank you, Joy. When we return, Andy Hughes has your sports report. Stay tuned.